They're in the gate. And they're off. Grand Oak breaks alertly. Goichin toward the outside, runs up into second and comes on to challenge Grand Oak. These two fast out of there. They're two lengths clear of Dominicana, who comes away in third. Moon Magic Chrissy on the outside, fourth, really toast, moving up from fifth. She's Jersey Tough is sixth. The Uridandies at the back in seventh. Far turn run. Grand Oak and Coechen going head to head with three furlongs to go. The opening quarter knocked out in 22 and two. They round the far turn, still doing battle. Coechen on the outside of Grand Oak. They've gone clear by four now. Off the turn into the stretch. Grand Oak grabs the upper hand once again. Grand Oak cut the corner off the turn. Short lead. Coechen trying hard to get by. Moon Magic Chrissy third. The rest with a lot to do. By the eighth pole. And Grand Oak is up to the test. Repels the challenge of Coechen. Grand Oak opening up down the lane. And is going to score by four. Grand Oak first. Coechen second. Moon Magic Chrissy third. And Rialitos was fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off. Good beginning for Jeremy's Jet. Tivy is there. So to Lamari. Late September between horses. As they head up the back stretch and out of the far turn at the back early. El Gavilan and the trailer is easy big boy. The leader is Jeremy's Jet in front of length with three furlongs to go. But Tivy is hard on his heels racing second. Two lengths back. Late September's losing ground while third in tight there. El Gavilan at the steady. Easy Big Boy races up from fourth, checking out of it earlier, was Lamari. Off the turn, Jeremy's Jet in front, but Tivy to the attack. And here comes Tivy now, coming after Jeremy's Jet. Late September's trying to rally on from third. One for long to go. Jeremy's Jet's a tough customer, has re-rallied to the front. Tivy has to respond, and late September trying to pick him up late. Jeremy's Jet, here comes late September, surging to win it. Late September, running down Jeremy's Jet and Tivy. Easy Big Boy was fourth. And they're off. Stutter step start for Matt's Honey is four lengths behind the rest. In the opening 16th of a mile, Queen Louise broke well and is racing for the lead. She wants more toward the rail. And Carry On comes in for that outside post to be third. Clubhouse turn. Queen Louise establishes the front end. Opens up by a length. And now she wants more. Is going to come on to prompt from second. Positive vibes. Races up on the inside. It was in tight there and is now fighting the rider. Relegated back to fifth is that one as the pace slows down up top. And that pacemaker is Queen Louise. She wants more right there, running along in second. Carry on, three wide, racing up into third. A length back, Kimberly Dream, reserved while fourth. Positive vibes has settled down toward the rail, racing fifth. Slow starting, Matt Sonny is the trailer in sixth. Five for lungs to go. And they walked through that opening quarter mile in 25 and one-fifth seconds. Pace is very slow. It's Queen Louise, the leader. She wants more in between and carry on on the far outside. The three of them head for the far turn together. Positive Vibes is tucked away fourth and toward the rail. Kimberly Dream comes on to take that fourth spot. Positive Vibes is back into fifth, but only two and a half lengths off the lead. Matt's Honey is asked to pick it up at the back, round the far turn. And Carry On comes away with the lead and opens up by two, now by three. Carry On by the quarter pole in control. Kimberly Dream comes on to grab second, setting sights on Carry On. Farther back, it's Queen Louise in third. Matt's Honey trying to get involved late from fourth. There's one for long to go. Carry On is clear by four. Kimberly Dream is trying hard, getting a little bit closer. Time is running out. Carry On is going, going gone. Carry on, took charge on the turn and never looked back. Kimberly Dream was second, Matt's Honey was third, Queen Louise was fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off. 
Hot and a good beginning. Rufa Redknott is there very wealthy. And Cammy Cat is sent through toward the rail in tight, though. Had to tap on the brakes to that one. Is now shuffled back into fourth. Backstretch run. Rufa Redknott on through to the front. Leads by length. Very wealthy. Prompting the pace from second. Hot in on the outside. Right up and on the pace while third. Cammy Cat tucked away fourth and toward the rail. And it's six or seven back to Shrimpy the trailer. Down the backstretch run. They knocked out a quarter in 21 and one-fifth seconds. Sharp pace on as they round the far turn. And it's Rufa Redknot with an arrow lead and three furlongs to go. Very wealthy. Smack dab between horses. Hot Anna is there. Cammy Katz just waiting for racing room in behind while fourth. Angles outside for the run to the quarter pole. Stacked across the track. Top of the stretch. Rufa Redknot turning for home down inside. Very wealthy gives way. Hot Anna comes away with the lead, but Cammy Cat is on the move now, and here she comes. Cammy Cat up into second, one for long to go. Hot Anna to catch, the lead is a length. Cammy Cat slowly but surely getting there, time running out. Hot Anna's half length lead. Cammy Cat can't get by. Hot Anna, the winner, the winner by a length in the end. Cammy Cat was second, Rufa Redknot was third, and very wealthy finished fourth. There in the gate. And the rough. Next and good juju break well from their outside post. Cowboy diplomacy is not far behind down toward the rail, but it is next who will lead the way very early on. Cowboy diplomacy is going to track the pace and angles toward the outside to stock from second now as next opens up to lead by two. So it is next to leader with one lap to go. Cowboy Diplomacy is cruising along while second. Artemis Eagle over to the inside in third. Good Juju broke alertly and is back into fourth. Five lengths off the lead. The back two are intraday and attentive is the trailer. Around the clubhouse turn. Next. No early opposition whatsoever. Controlling the early pace of an opening quarter in 23 and three-fifths seconds. Heading for the back stretch run. It's next in front. Cowboy Diplomacy still second. Artemis Eagle coasting along third in toward the rail. Good Juju patiently handled from fourth. Four lengths off the lead. Intraday is moving up toward the rail. And at the back is still attentive. About six lengths off the lead. They've got four furlongs to go. And that opening half in a reasonable 48 and three. It is next a leader for the far turn. Still in front by two. Cowboy Diplomacy is coming under a ride. Good Juju's looming up three wide. Artemis Eagle still fourth and toward the rail. Attentive is catching up with Intraday. Coming for the top of the stretch. Next is still the one to catch at the quarter pole. Next is turning for home in front. Cowboy Diplomacy set down for the drive. Good Juju and Attentive coming on from the far outside. Racing for the mid-stretch marker. Next is now asked for more speed and Next has it. Next opens up by three. Cowboy Diplomacy, intraday, attentive, all chasing, next. Brian Hernandez took them coast to coast. Next, the winner, intraday, attentive, and Cowboy Diplomacy. And the Rav best bet comes blasting out of the starting gate quickly in front. Moose Dazid comes through toward the rail, and Grave is also there. Seaforce joins them from the outside, but it's best bet in front. Seaforce comes on to grab second, and Grave is third. Can't hush this in tight toward the inside, moving up from fourth. Moose Dazid comes away fifth, a break of two back to Minnesota, ready in six by two and a half. Hill of Gold comes away six or seven lengths off the lead in seventh. A break of three from their active duty on the move inside of overslept. Bluegrass Royale, the trailer, 22-1, and one, was an opening quarter mile, and it's best bet the leader with three furlongs to go, but Seaforce is moving now, and here's Seaforce coming after best bet, and Engrave has been moved to the outside and is launching a three-wide rally. And Minnesota Ready is on the scene, too. Can't hush this down toward the inside. They're off the turn. Best bet is surrounded by challengers. Seaforce is there. Here's Engrave. Here's Minnesota Ready. And these two sweep to the front for long to go. Minnesota Ready in front by two. Engrave is trying to hold second. Then it's Seaforce and Mustazid. They're in the final 16th. And at 21 to 1, it's Minnesota Ready. By three in the end. 
over 18 to 1 in Grave second. Tight for third, Moose does Eater Seaforce. They're in the gate. And they're off. Verbit mid pack. Hope and Dignity is there. Full impact from the far outside. Those three across the track early. Roderick comes away in fourth. So down the back stretch they go. Verb on through to the front. Full impact running in second. Hope and Dignity between them third. Roderick angles to the outside to be fourth. Emerald Express is on the move from fifth. The back two, Picasso and Majestic West. Four for longs from the wire. And it's Verb the leader. Full impact prompting from second. Roderick revving up on the outside. Three wide while third. Hope and Dignity is losing ground. Bit of an awkward stride. They're heading for the far turn. Picasso, Emerald Express on the move from fourth and fifth. And at the back, Majestic West comes out of last. They come for the top of the stretch. Three across at the quarter pole. Verb cut the corner. Full impact is there. Roderick is coming from the outside as well. Emerald Express has a shot, and Picasso does too. One for long to go. Verbs in front, in front by two. Emerald Express runs up into second. Picasso with Roderick in full impact, but they're all chasing Verb, who's clear to the wire. It will be Verb. One length in the end. Emerald Express ran on to be a clear second, and then it's tight between Roderick and Picasso. They're in the gate. And they're off. Monition at mid-pack bounces out on top. Skyro is there. Spiteful Sam comes on from the outside. And Continental coins is forward toward the rail. Ocean Atlantique for that outside post is going to try and tuck in as they come by us for the first time. It is Monition, Continental Coins, and now Skyro splits them. Three across the track into the opening turn. Spiteful Sam a little bit wide, racing up into fourth. Hague Point is now fifth. Shackleford's Joy sixth. Ocean Atlantic is running along in seventh. El Cabong is eighth. Arundo Hagarwete is running along in ninth by two and a half. Point me by back in ten. That has split the wickets, who's 11th? The trailer is Jimmy Dan as they hit the backstretch run. The opening quarter into the wind in 23 and 2 fifth seconds, going head to head, Armonition and Skyro. Spiteful Sam perched out there three wide, just off the pace. Continental Coins working out a good trip in behind, saving ground to the far turn as well. Shackleford's Joy tries to come up through toward the inside. Hague points right in the thick of it. Ocean Atlantique is wide in the far turn, but making progress now. El Cabong is finding a seam in between horses as they round the far turn. Point Me By is launching a rally with Erondo Hagrete. They come for the top of the stretch, and it's still Monition and Skyro. Head to head off the turn. They come a little bit wide into the stretch. It's Monition on the far outside. Short lead. Skyro's there. El Cabong coming up the rail. Ocean Atlantique. Point me by. Continental Coins. One for long to go. Skyro is re-rallied. But El Cabong's coming up the rail. Monition fights on. Point me by. Down to the finish. El Cabong up the rail to win it. El Cabong gets there in the final few strides. Skyro. Point me by in Monition. They're in the gate. And they're off. Open road. Hustled hard right off the mark. Plausible denial showing speed. And Prize Fighter comes on through now. And here's Prize Fighter. Third, second, and now first. Prize Fighter out to set the pace. Plausible denial is running in. Second, open road is racing. Third, Kiowa Breeze tugs up in between. Advancing on through to be second now. Plausible denial, third toward the rail. Open road relegated back into fourth. Warring Gap is racing. Fifth, paid twice is hustled along at the back. The early trailer is predominate. The leader is Prize Fighter, who flew through the opening quarter in 22 and 1. Leads by a length and a half with three for lungs to go. Kiowa Breeze is hard on the chase in second. Plausible denial set to strike inside while third. Open Road is revving up with a three or four wide bid. Here comes Open Road now as they come off the turn into the stretch. Prize Fighter confronted by Kiowa Breeze. Open Road is there. Plausible Denial pops outside from third now. One for long to go. Open Road comes away with the lead. Plausible Denial coming with a rally. 16th to run down Open Road. Open Road wanders toward the rail. 
Plausible Denial fights to the finish, but Open Road turned back that challenge. Open Road wins it by a little bit more than two in the end. Plausible Denial was second. Predominate might have grabbed third from Kiowa Breeze. Prize Fighter was fifth.